Hey traders, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the types of market structure. In essence, when it comes to trading, there are only three types of market structure. Now, because we've gotten a request from one of our subscribers about market structure, we thought we'd record a video to show you how uh, the three kinds of market structure works. Okay, In fact, we actually have this covered in our day trading guide, which is free. Okay, So if you have not gotten that, just uh, click the link in the description and just download a copy of that. But let's jump into today's video. So as I mentioned, there are three types of market structure. So over here, I've drawn them out. So of course, the first kind of... Uh, market structure is what we call an uptrend then we have the downtrend and then we have consolidation so if you really think about it uh, there are really only three kinds of uh, market conditions that uh, an instrument or currency pair can can you know can be in it could be uptrend downtrend or consolidation now when we talk about market structure we are not talking about a singular candle okay this is very important when we talk about market structure we are looking at the overall picture so you do not just zoom in into you know one candle like this and then try to tell the market structure uh so market structure it's you have to look at the overall context of the price uh, action so let, let me just explain what the uptrend is what the downtrend is uh, what the consolidation is and then i'll go into the charts i'll show you uh, it in the live uh, charts so uptrend is very simple uptrend is where you have a series of higher highs and higher lows so let's take a look at uh, this uh, picture that I drew over here. So you have a high over here. Okay, then you have a low over here. Then you have a high, but in this high is actually higher than this. So this is what we call a higher high. Then after that, you have a low here. But if you notice that this low here is actually higher than this. So in this case, we say that there is a series of higher highs because this high is higher than this and this low is higher than this. So there is a series of higher highs and a series of higher lows. So this is what we define as a uptrend. So hopefully that is uh, clear. Okay, it's really simple. But uh, sometimes you might struggle when it comes to identifying. So later I'll show uh, you in the charts as well as a trick which you, you can apply to help you identify this easily okay now understanding the market structure is very important it's the first step of any trading strategy okay i don't care which strategy you are using you should always be looking at the market structure now let's move on to the downtrend so downtrend is really just the opposite so let's look at uh, this case in this case we have a low here and then we have a high over here and instead of having a higher high we have a lower low and then instead of having a higher higher high we have a lower high so you can see that this is a low but this is a lower low so you have lower low you have lower high so a downtrend is very simple it's the opposite it's when you see a series of lower lows and a series of lower highs okay so that's the downtrend it's really just the opposite so if you understand what the uptrend is then you will understand what the downtrend is because it's just the opposite now the last type of market structure is consolidation Okay, consolidation in the case that price is bouncing between um, resistance and support. So you can see over here that I mapped out, you know, uh, the, the price, okay, just some lines to, to act as price, just an example. So you can see that it's being resisted, it's being supported, it's being resisted. Now, an interesting thing about consolidation, which a lot of people don't talk about, is that let's say price is in a downtrend and there is a consolidation here it is still more likely that price is going to break down. Okay, let me draw it. It's still more likely it's going to break down because you are in a downtrend and price is consolidating. Okay, so in consolidation, it could be um, what I call a uptrend consolidation or a downtrend consolidation. So that depends on the prior uh, move, movement of the currency pair or instrument. So in this case, you see that uh, let's say now we are in a downtrend because we have a series of lower lows and low highs and price start consolidating. You should still lean towards selling. Okay, While it's perfectly fine for you to buy at the bottom and sell at the top, Okay, your higher probability trade is going to be selling at the top because you are trading with the trend because now you are in a downtrend. So of course the opposite is true. Let's say price is going up and instead of uh, you know, going up, it starts consolidating. Maybe it does something like, uh, you know, in, it starts consolidating somewhere like this. Let me just draw it. And maybe it does something like this. Okay. So something like this, it starts consolidating between these two levels. Okay. Here. 
and here. Okay, so it starts consolidating. Again, this is a consolidation, but you are consolidation in an uptrend. So again, you could potentially sell here, you know, because you're selling a consolidation. You're selling, uh, you're, you're doing a range trading strategy where you sell the top and you buy the bottom. It's fine, but your higher, higher probability trade is going to be buying the bottom because the overall trend is up. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, doesn't matter what trading strategy you use, whether you're using the strategies that we are teaching, uh, you know, the MPE trading strategy, which is taught in our day trading guide or our other swing trading strategy, doesn't matter what you apply. It could even be a strategy that you design and build on your own. Regardless of whatever you are using, you always want to pay attention to market structure. And that is why you need to understand uh, this tree, how the market moves and, you know, which, which of this condition is the currency pair or instrument, you know, in right now then you can make the right decision. Of course, in uptrend, you want to be buying. In a downtrend, you want to be selling. And in consolidation, as I mentioned, if it's, if it's um, totally range bound, meaning that there's no direction, no pyro uh, trends, then you can buy the bottom, sell the top. But if it's in an uptrend, consolidation, you ideally want to buy the bottom. And of course, in a downtrend, if it's consolidating, consolidation, after a downtrend, you want to be selling the resistance as much as possible. So by the way, if enjoying this content so far, appreciate it if you just uh, take some time to like this video, right? It'll help us to grow, right? At the same time, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon because we create a lot of videos like this to serve you. So really, really appreciate it if you just take some time to help us grow, okay? It also encourage us to create more videos like this to serve you. As always, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, right? This video was created because one of our subscribers had a question about this. And you can see that we are really serious about creating videos to help you. So you can see that um, we do read your comments. So if you have any questions, any questions at all regarding this concept or any other trading concepts, it could be candlesticks, could be indicators, just leave a comment down below. We've been trading for many, many, many years and we have a lot of experience trying a lot of things. So we can share with you what we learned, you know, what we paid thousands of dollars for. Just let us know in the comment section below so now let's look at the charts okay let's look at uh, the charts so one thing to note about market structure is that different time frames will have different market structure okay so if you go into the h1 you're going to see different structures and if you go to the daily you're going to see different structures so now i know you might ask which time frame should you focus on in that case okay now if you really need the hard and fast answer i recommend that you start on the daily time frame okay do not go lower time frame especially if you are new to trading because the lower the time frame the harder it is to identify and that requires more skill so do not you know set yourself up for failure by doing the hard stuff especially when you're still new and you're still struggling to become profitable right you want to start with uh you want to start trading uh, the, the easy setup. You want to use the higher time frame so that's easier for you to identify the moves. Okay, in our three day trading guide, we also mentioned that you want to start on the daily time frame. Okay, this is all because it's clearer, it's more straightforward. Okay, so let's look at uh, Euro dollar right now. So over here, we can see some patterns. Okay, if you look at it over here, this is actually a consolidation. Okay, earlier on, I said that. Uh, one of the market conditions that you can have on market structure is a consolidation. So this is the exact thing. Okay, you have price bouncing from here, go down, go up, go down, go up. Then finally it breaks. Okay, so I have a cool tip for you. If you can't identify the market condition, uh, looking at the kind of patterns, what you want to do is you want to switch over to the line chart. Okay, so when you switch your line chart, it's very clear. You can see it very clear. You can see that, okay, this is a high, this is a low, this is a higher high, this is a higher low. So it's very clear, okay? You do not have to trade like that, but you can just change to the line chart whenever you are not sure uh, which of the three uh, market conditions we are in, okay? Are we in the uptrend, downtrend, or consolidation? So let me just clear everything first, and let's go back. So what you want to do, step one of any trading strategy is you always want to identify what is the market structure. So as I mentioned, you do not just look at one candle and try to decipher if the market condition is uptrend, downtrend, or consolidating. You want to look at the entire picture. So if you look at the broad picture, you can conclude that uh, euro dollar is actually a uptrend. Okay, no matter how you draw it, it's still uptrend because you have a high, you have a low, you have a higher high and you have a higher low. So as I mentioned, an uptrend is a series of higher highs and a series of lower lows. So you see that over here. So over here is still the same. If you were to uh, zoom in into the recent price section, it's still the same. You have a high, you have a high, and then you have a high. So you can see that the highs are getting 
higher, you have high, higher, high, higher, high. And more importantly, you also see lower lows. You see a low here, you see a low, higher low here, and uh, this one over here is actually uh, here. It's somewhere here. Okay, so this low is almost the same, but nonetheless, it's still a bit higher, I believe. It's a bit higher or it's the same. But you can see, generally speaking, we are looking at the whole uh, picture. We are looking at the whole charts, uh, not just a singular candle to make the decision. Okay, so when it comes to market structure, it's very important that uh, you look at uh, the entire picture. You try to look at the big picture. You do not look into the, mi uh, you know, the micro picture and try to understand the... Uh, market structure without uh, zooming out okay so you always want to zoom out and look at the overall picture now before i end of this video i just want to show you why you want to stick on the daily time frame okay now assuming that uh, you do the h4 you can see that the market structure looks different in this case okay you might see something like uh, this is a low uh, this is a high and this is a lower low and instead of uh, making a lower high it does a higher low so this is actually a inverted head and shoulder okay let me see if i can show you you have the left sh shoulder here you have the head here and then you have a potential right shoulder here so you can see it gets very complicated because in the higher time frame it's telling you it's uptrend but in this time frame there is no clear trend yet because you do not see a high low right if you need you want to see a trend in the h4 you need to see something like this you have a high you have a low you have a higher high and then you have a higher low, okay? But right now, you don't see it. So what happens when you change to a lower time frame? You will see a different market structure and that might confuse you, okay? I have other videos about how to econ incorporate multiple time frame analysis into your trading. That's very important as well. But if you are new, right, really, let's keep things simple. Right? I don't want to confuse you. And really, there is no need for you to complicate things because um, the MPE trading strategy, which is taught in our free day trading guide, it's already a powerful strategy that can already make you money. So there's really no need for you to complicate things if uh, you know you're struggling or you're totally new to trading, right? Just stick to that guy. It's totally free, right? The link is in the description, right? Please go download it if you have not downloaded it. Okay. So just to summarize through this video, I talk about the three market conditions. You have the uptrend, you have the downtrend, and you have the consolidation. The uptrend is when you have a series of higher highs, okay, and a series of lower lows, and then the downtrend is uh, just the opposite. Okay, you have a series of lower lows, okay, lower lows such as this. And then you have a series of uh, lower highs as well. That's a downtrend. And then, of course, you have the consolidation, okay? Just a gentle reminder, the first thing you want to do whenever you analyze the chart is to look at the market condition, market structure, okay? Market structure and market condition is the same thing. You want to look at that to determine your bias, okay? If you're in a downtrend, you want to be selling as much as possible. If you are in an uptrend, you want to be buying. Okay, so as always, if you have any questions, just leave it down below. We'd love to help you. Just let us know. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.